these are the most important tools that you can use in Trig. Like if you don't know this, this is the equivalent of you not knowing your multiplication tables in like fifth and sixth grade. Okay. So the more you know this, the more you're familiar with this, the more you can be like, oh my gosh, that's, that's my 30, 60, 90. And notice I said my 30, 60, 90. This is how familiar I am with these guys. So here's my 45, 45, 90 triangle. If you're um, moving on to levels like calculus and you want to go on to be an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, any of those, move yourself away from degrees and to radians for sure. So here I have it labeled as pi over four. Imagine this as pi over four. So I label my triangles like this. This guy's labeled x, x, x root two. Um, sometimes you'll see them being labeled as one, one, root two, which is okay. But, um, oh my, oh, there it goes. Um, but I like X, X, X or two, because then I can scale it as big or as, as small as I want it. Right. By just setting it equal to whatever sides they gave me. Okay. Similarly, this is my 30, 60, 90 triangle or my pi over six, pi over three triangle, uh, 90 triangle or pi over two triangle. So across from my 30, that's my X side. My longest side is my hypotenuse, and that's 2x. And then this long leg is x root 3. So I use this thing over and over again. Um, some teachers like their students to memorize the unit circle. I don't. Um, I think the unit circle is kind of like the, the multiplication chart of trig. And so when you're multiplying, like, say, 8 times 6, and all you can remember is like, oh, let me go on eight, let me go on six, and then find where they intersect. You ha you lose all kinds of connections that you are supposed to get. Um, if you do skip counting and you're like, oh, I know eight times six, and you go like this, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Again, not as good as if you go, well, eight times six is 48. Boom, I already know it. Or maybe you didn't know it, but you're like, uh, I know eight times three is 24 and then double that would be 48. Okay, it's 48, right? So whatever you do to get there, just make sure that you're making connections because that's the whole point of math. <clears throat> I will be using these things over and over again in, in the land of trig. We are in the land of trig, okay? I will use this thing over and over again um, so much so that it is more efficient for me to use this than a calculator. So if you don't know these two, make sure that you have them. So I told my class, I just told them um, back in the day in face-to-face, -face, if this was their homework, I would make them write it across the top of their paper of every single homework, um, test, quiz, so that it's in their brain and it's in the very forefront of um, what we can use. Not only do you not want to re recognize them in terms of the pi over fours, the angles, but you also want to be able to recognize their sides. So when I draw a triangle and I'm like root two, and these two sides are equal or congruent, you're like, oh, that's my 45, 45, 90 triangle. No problem. Or I show you X and I show you X root three here. And you're like, oh, that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So I should be able to give you two pieces of information and you should be like, oh, that's my triangle. And then when you see pieces of those information, you're, you're, you should be like, those are my triangles. That's my jam. That's what you're looking for. Okay. If you don't, if you're not comfortable with it, my suggestion is every single time you have a triangle, um, a problem that pertains to this, draw out your triangle, draw out these sides. And I would um, rotate it or orientate it to however the triangle looks. So if the triangle looks, I'm going to scoot you over. Sorry, I'm going to have to scroll for a second. If the triangle looks like this, draw your 45, 45, 90 triangle right here facing the same way. So when we say the word orientation in math, it means which way is it sitting, right? How is this right triangle sitting? See, this way is going this way, but the original way that I had drawn it up here I drew it this way, right? So, but you're going to be so familiar with this that I can, uh, I don't know, he doesn't really have an upside down, but I can go upside down, backwards, rightwards. Um, I could give you one piece of information. And you're like, oh, I wonder if that's my 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay. That's how familiar you need to be with this.